Yo, what's up, happy people? This right here is a happy person. This is my little buddy Solomon. And uh, it's Monday morning, day after Easter, and we are headed offshore. I wanted to go out daytime sorting, but kind of looking at the wind, looks like it might be a little choppy. And choppy and swordfish don't mix, so we're just gonna play it by ear, but we are fishing today. All right, you guys, so we ran up the beach about 10 miles to the north. We're at a little place called the Bull Shark Barge. It's just outside Stewart Inlet, slightly to the south and about 40 feet of water. And we are chasing threadfin herring. What do you think, Solly? Uh, I think we're gonna slay them. <laughs> That's what I think. He broke me off and he hit it on the way up. Typically, when you're catching bait, they're on the bottom. Today, they're eating literally right underneath the surface. Crazy. Absurd. Ooh, I got a stringer of them here, y'all. Yeah. Well, three. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. We are officially full of bait and ready to go. As always, the weather forecast is pretty much dead wrong. But, oh, marking some fish here. Got a big ledge. We're fishing for king mackerel. And for whatever reason, the clear water is on the inside. Then we come out here and it's got this powder blue, greenish look. So hopefully we can find a kingfish, sailfish, dolphin, something fun to pull on, something fun to eat. King mackerel, I'm not a big fan of circle hooks. So we're just using that. Live bait, it's a J-hook, 40 pound leader with some number six wire. The wire trace is gonna keep a kingfish from biting you off. We're gonna hook them right through the nose, just like that. There's a hard part of the nose right there. And then go with the wind, get them out of, away from the boat. A lot of fish around right now. He's getting real nervous. He ate the bait on the bottom. What? What are you doing? I got no clue. We actually, he just caught that kingfish, but we had a problem with the camera and didn't get the footage. So. There he is. Got it? Yep. Good deal. Probably another rudder fish. That's what I think. Could be a big old mutton. I don't think so though. Take you some drag. It should not be harder than the kingfish, but it is. Here he is. Oh yeah, I knew it was the dark. That's what left is left of him. Come on, big king right here. This is what I'm after. This is a nice kingfish. Guaranteed it's gonna be a nice king. Come on, buddy. This is a nice one here, y'all. Nice king. Is it a freaking bonita? Big old bone. Ah. There you go. Big old bone eater. Got a big bonita in the box. Going back out with another bait. Trying hard. Really, really, really want to get one. Big kingfish. 
Here he goes. He's running with it. Come tight. Got him. That's all you gotta do. I'm not sure what it is, but it is something. I think it's gonna be a kingfish. I don't know what the heck it is. Coming to me. Come on, boys. Yeah, it is a little king. Good job. That's what we're after right there. Old king mackerel. Anytime I hold these, I, I hold them by the right there as hard as I can so they don't shake out of your hand and uh, bite you. See them teeth? They are razor, razor sharp. And a lot of them have serious bacteria on their teeth. My little brother, Blue Gabe, he, uh, if he gets touched by a kingfish, he gets MRSA really bad, the MRSA staph infection. So throw this rascal on ice, keep fishing. You just fight like an ice king. Maybe. Burn the hell out of my thumb when I try to stop. Woo! Oh, I just got bit right there. Yep. Oh, no! Bit me off. Or hook pulled or something. Hook just pulled. Oh, no, ladies and gentlemen. We've got It's David Bell. Cranking. Yanking and cranking. Is this your first ocean fish you've ever caught? Yeah. Oh, it's a nice oh, mutton snapper. Mutton. Pull him on in. Yeah, buddy. Good job. <laughs> Never know what you're gonna catch out here. Now, you just gotta seal the deal and put them on ice. This time of the year, off the east coast of Florida, I mean, the options are endless. Get another rudder? I don't know. There you go. Throw him on ice, son. What's your favorite way to cook fish? Uh, probably blackened. You like blackened fish? Blackened fish I've good. never done a blackened fish dish, maybe so today's maybe today's the day. I, I did not expect you to say that, but let's try it. Take some olive oil. Watch this. In bin number one, I'm going to use some uh, Everglades heat. Jamaican style jerk seasoning. Pulper Dome's blackening spice. That looks like it's, I think I just dumped the whole ball, bottle in there. All right, so we're gonna start off with a kingfish. Come right there, come right down that backbone, and we're gonna try to make one Nice cut down to the backbone, down to the spine. Come across the top of it, then down the other side. And what you should be left with is a gorgeous piece of meat that looks just like that. On these kingfish, you're gonna have a set of pin bones down the middle like that. And I typically want to just make a little cut on both sides, just like that. And we'll cut this into thirds. What you've got are three beautiful pieces of fish. We'll put one in each. Are you? Okay, what fish do you want to cook next? You want that one? Okay, y'all. Up next. Got a banded rudder fish. Let's take a look at how they look. There you can touch it. Isn't that cool? This one is warm. It doesn't feel too warm to me. It feels nice and cool. A nice cool with me. You want to eat it at home. Yeah? Yeah. In my house. 
house. In your house? Yeah. I got this. I got this in my house. There you go. Now, come in here. Hold on, baby. Hold on. Hold on. Then you can see it'll have a pretty stark, deep, dark red bloodline. So to fix that, I'll just come down here and I'll angle out just like that and I'll cut the bloodline out. Now I know some people enjoy eating the bloodline. They do. I just am not one of those people. So what I do is take that knife and I will trim it right out so you're left with some nice beautiful white fillets. There'll still be a little bit of red on there but for the most part that's what you're looking for. Alright so now we've got all the fish in all three different seasonings. I'm gonna go ahead and rip through the rest of these fish, clean them up real quick. We'll get them in the sauce, get them seasoned and then we are cooking. Hey, you guys, give me a thumbs up on Rob's video if you like this little bamboo bar. 25 bucks at a rummage sale. I gotta admit, I, I was not impressed with it at first. But uh, we're gonna start off with a little white onion. Throw it in there. Tomato. Throw it in there. Got some tricolored pepper. This is the love potion right here. Mango. Toss in some mango. Emma. Sun-dried cranberries. Some chopped walnuts. Uh, this is where it all comes together, right there. Your honey. Take a little bit of soy sauce. The soy. Take a clean spoon, and you're just gonna. There you go. Smell that real quick, would you? Gentle, Emma. Emma, gentle. Got a little bit of broccoli on there. We're just gonna put some water in this and that will help to steam them up and then for flavor I've got some soy sauce throw it in there it'll just start coming to life this has been in there now do you just take your take that and just let it fall around oh my goodness gracious the oil is gonna make it non-stick throw it right on there Yeah, babe. But now this is where the real love is right here. Check this out. Totally non-stick. Dude, this smells so stinking good. It's crazy. He had a request for blackened fish. And this is my best rendition of blackened fish. Now. Rob doesn't disappoint. This is far better than I've ever imagined. This is gonna be amazing. Well, we're not done yet, brother. We're not done yet. We're gonna throw some fried eggs on there. Straight out of the hen's nest box. Who knows what I'm about to do? Just leave it in the comments below. Take a little. What is that, Rob? A little soy sauce. Soy sauce. Like a real hibachi restaurant. Not really. <laughs> it was better. Now we're gonna throw in a little bit of them onions. Some scallion, some pepper, take our fish, oh man how good does that look, take this, take some rice, now I would have preferred this rice to already be done. Go ahead. Off. 
We'll just finish it off with a little bit of soy sauce, just like that. I'm so proud of her. You hey. guys got to check her out. She uploaded the coolest video ever today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really loved it. And so for that, you are getting a nice oh, I'll take it. dish. Thanks, babe. I feel like I'm in hibachi. Okay, so we've got our rice, we've got our broccoli, we've got our fish, and then we've got this love potion. Check this out. We're gonna put that right on top, you just like that. the baby to the marriage, honey? And then a little bit of soy. Looks really good. It looks good. great, it smells awesome. All right, let me make plates for everybody else. Yeah, buddy. All right, hey, it's been a great day. Great new friend, wonderful plates of food, and uh, it's the end of a nice day, so let's say the blessing. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this wonderful food. Thank you for a great day out on the water, catching a bunch of nice fish, and coming home safe to our families. Please nourish it to our body, keep us safe. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. 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 So what do you think, buddy? You totally left me hanging. I went oh, for the whole hand sorry. hold, and he was like, nah. I didn't see. I saw him. That's he all right. just didn't want to hold your yeah, hand. That's all right, that's all right, I got so, you. All right, so this was Solly's request today. While we were out, I met Solly in a fish and tackle store at Grand Slam about two or three, four months ago. And he said he was a huge fan, so I said, when you get home from school, I'll take you fishing. And he called me, he came home from school making great grades and uh, took him out while we were fishing. He caught the first kingfish, which wasn't on video, but uh, he, he requested blackened fish. So that was my version of blackened fish. Taste it and tell me what you think. Let's get a little bit of everything. Oh, it is my There's nothing better, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, what you're, it, it's what it is. I'm not lying. I've always wondered if people on video live, this is like for the food and stuff. I'm not lying. This is amazing. I wish you guys could taste it yourself. Man. It, it is very good. I was trying to like separate the snapper and the rudderfish and the kingfish, but hey, you know. When you're out fishing, catching fresh fish, icing them down, come home and clean them, it's all good. And this topping is just nitro. Dad, what do you think? It sort of has a little Chinese flavor to it. It's so good. The more time you can spend with your family doing stuff like this, the better you will be. You know, they always say, oh, the grass is greener on the other side. The reason is, those people are probably fertilizing their grass. Fertilize your grass. That's what we're doing now. So I love you. Take care, God bless. Before I say we gone, how do you like my little cooking area? See, see she's doing that for a reason right now. I love it, honey. It's Thank great. You. Okay, we go.